Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. And today's video is a fun one. We're gonna be diving in and discussing 2024 trend predictions. And I think that this is such a fun video to kind of get inspired, look forward to the future, and just get a little bit jazzed up in January because I feel like January is literally the most boring time of year and the only fun part of it is New Year's and then after that I'm just like okay what now so getting inspired for the upcoming year and looking ahead is one thing I can do to fill my time in January so I'll try to put up some inspo pictures while I go through the trends and also the research that I did for this video was on a couple of different publications so I looked at like the Pinterest trend report the Instagram trend report the New York Times style magazine I maybe read something in vogue I can't remember and then just things that I've seen in real life things that I've personally been inspired by I also watched a couple of YouTube videos so there's tons of stuff out there and I just think that it's really fun and interesting to kind of look into and like read up on or listen up on on like a podcast or a YouTube video or something and just get the wheels turning going into the new year so that's kind of like the references in the background of this and as always this is just like my opinion it's just what I'm thinking there's no like right or wrong and it's just like a fun fun little thing so let's get into the trends okay so the first thing that I want to talk about I actually read about in the New York Times style magazine and it's something that I've personally been really really drawn to lately as well and the overarching theme of that is just kind of this like 80s style and then a couple of like terms that I wrote down for that was structure in shape and material so more substantial materials like thick sturdier materials and also structure being like really sharp angles and edges of things not like really rounded out things but more harsh and I just did that because I was thinking of like shoulder pads which is very 80s and something that I have been so drawn to we just did a trip in London and I brought two tops that have shoulder pads in them and I love the look of it also one of the coats that I wore most of the time has the shoulder pads in it as well and I think that it's just a really satisfying structure also I think for like proportions and body type the shoulder pads might be something kind of flattering for me so that might be partially why I'm drawn to it but I just think that it's a really cool kind of edgy look as well and I love the nod to the 80s because I think the 80s is so sick like I love the hairstyles from the 80s I also love 80s music there's so many icons from that era and I think leaning into that era as far as fashion goes as well is just really really fun and it's gonna be big going into 2024 another thing that kind of like nods to that is power suits obviously just like blazers dad coats or dad blazers and I think that the these look so sick and they're really great for street style they're really great for going out for like a date night or out with your friends or something like that and I just think that they're really cool I also love a big shoulder pad blazer with like a little waist belt cinching in the waist and just creating this really nice shape so I love just like the structures and the shapes of this trend I guess and I think there's tons of different ways that you can style this going into 2024 whether it be like in coats or blazers as I mentioned or on like bodysuits or tops with the shoulder pads and maybe just like 80s style hair or makeup or just listen to some 80s songs because they're literally the best. Okay, the next one is hot pants or like micro shorts or the no pants trend. There's a bunch of different ways to call this trend basically, but this is something that I also have been loving. I've actually had this pair of hot pants from White Fox for years and I've been styling them for a while because I just find them to be so flattering again I think like proportionally maybe they're good for me they make me feel taller because they're like so micro I don't know what it is but I've just loved those for a while and I have seen them everywhere and I've gotten so much more styling inspo for them and again recently on our trip to London I brought that pair of shorts and I actually wore them more than anything else because 
they were just so chic and cool and they went with a bunch of different things. So I wore them out to dinners a lot. I also wore them ice skating. You can kind of dress them up or dress them down and I just think they're so freaking cool. I really love them in the colder months with like a pair of tights, but I also love them in the summer months or like warmer months as well. So you can style them differently depending on the season, but I just think that they're really cool. They're fashion forward and they look really good with like a bodysuit, I think, with a belt cinching. And again, you can also do like a blazer over top for a little bit of the juxtaposition of something big and oversized with like the little tiny shorts. You can do like a sweater, I think is really cute. I wore them with these like bright red tights in London as well, which is really fun for kind of like a pop and I'm just totally here for the trend. I get that it's maybe not the most wearable trend or the most everyday trend, but if you're into that and you wanna lean into it, I think that most people can pull it off. I mean, I think anyone can pull anything off to be fair, as long as they want to. So what I'm saying is I think most people could have fun with this trend because I think even though it's a bit out there, I don't think it's too crazy that no one should do it. But you know, to each their own. If you're not into the hot pants, skip them and just wear regular pants. Okay, another thing that I read up on the Instagram trend report actually, which was kind of a report on Gen Z in particular, which I, I don't know, maybe just because they're like the generation right now leading the trends, I guess. That's why it focused on that. Or I just ended up randomly on some Gen Z specific article, which is also fine because like I said, Gen Z is kind of telling us what is cool right now something that's going to be really big from that report anyways and also i mean i've seen it everywhere and i think that it's definitely true is just shopping like secondhand vintage things more sustainable pieces which is really great and i think like thrifting in general obviously i think with social media this culture of thrifting has become even more popular because it's really fun content to digest and get inspired and it's a great way for people to go and find more affordable things they're more sustainable and it's just really fun so for me in particular i love thrifting like more statement pieces so a lot of the jackets that i have are thrifted because i think that those kind of just like make an outfit sportswear jackets i love thrifting those or like a thrifted blazer or leather jacket is amazing I think these are really good pieces to like add into your wardrobe that are gonna be super unique, but also like denim, kind of more basic pieces like that, shoes, these are all great things to thrift and obviously vintage or thrifted pieces kind of covers the whole board. So this is less specific of a trend, but something that is you know, just becoming more and more popular, which is great. Okay, the next trend prediction for 2024 is something, I think on the Instagram um, article, again, it was specifically worded this way, but in general, a lot of the things that I researched kind of fit into this umbrella term, and that is wearing clothes in unexpected ways. So again, this is like very Gen Z, I think, but it's just kind of being more creative and more out there and more daring with your clothes. And what I mean when I say wearing clothes in a bold way, but still in an unexpected way more so, is less like just wearing really bright colors or really bold clothing. And instead, just like wearing normal clothes maybe, but in strange ways, I guess you could say. So for example, like the dress over jeans or the skirt over pants or whatever you wanna call it, that style, which has been done before. I think like the early 2000s, that was a big thing as well. But it's that sort of mindset of just styling your clothes in a stranger way rather than just wearing like really bold, items of clothing, I guess. So I think the average person, again, is not going to just want to wear like a dress over their pants because it just feels so foreign and so out there. Even for me, I like really like exploring fashion and experimenting with it, but that's just like something that doesn't, I mean, I'm not saying I won't go there, but it's just not something that I gravitate towards. But I think that there's ways that that can be a little bit less intensified, I guess, like wearing a long, like I have a couple shirts that are like long on the sides, but shorter on the front. So it kind of like creates a little bit of that like dress type feel, but it's not truly a dress over the jeans and just ways to kind of lean into it like that. I also saw the apron trend mentioned a lot uh, in the YouTube videos that I watched, so that's kind of like 
it looks a bit like the skirt over pants, but it's less literal of that, I guess. And it's kind of just like a thicker belt on pants. I'll try to find photos and show you guys. But that sort of styling, I think, is an example of that. And just all the hacks that we see on social media of like tying your shirt in a different way or just wearing clothes in unexpected ways. It's kind of hard to articulate and think of that many examples for, but I think you guys get the point. <laughs> the next one is a color trend and I feel like it's gonna be no surprise to anyone because we've literally seen it absolutely everywhere. And I feel like of all the years that I've been doing fashion YouTube videos and covering things like this, there has never been a stronger color of the year or just like a true color trend. And so without further ado, the color is red. It's literally everywhere and everyone's obsessed with it. And that is predicted to stick around in 2024 as far as like the runways go and the designers and everything. I saw one video, I can't remember the creator, but she was talking about the red turning into a bit more of like a cherry red. So like a dark cherry red. So a little bit more muted and a little bit more understated than that like true bright, bright red, but still just like red is powerhouse dominating. And I am one with the people on this. I think red is so good. It is such a fun color as like a pop, a statement, everything and anything can be in red right now and it can do no wrong. So that is predicted to stick around and we like that. I have a pair of red boots that are my absolute fave for just kind of like a pop and some fun in an outfit. I'm also like a red jacket or a red purse, amazing, a red dress, a red sweater, just the red tights. Just, just go and have fun with red in 2024, just at least a little bit, okay, because she is that girl. The next trend I also saw mentioned a lot of times and all of us feel the same way, I think. So the trend is skinny jeans and we all have strong feelings towards skinny jeans. So skinny jeans have slowly been creeping back into popularity, I feel like. And over the past couple of years, I've seen, I've talked about them in some trend videos. I've seen them talked about a lot. And I think that they're just slowly but surely still making their way to a little bit more acceptance and wearability maybe. So I have been leaning into them and liking them with like the boots over top and a blazer kind of that way. And also a lot of the things that I read or watched mentioned that it doesn't have to be like the same skinny jeans that we were thinking of 10 years ago. They're not gonna be styled the same way and they're also not gonna be like looking or made the same way. And it could just be like a straighter, like skinnier, more tapered leg, not like the true kind of like jagging feel that we used to do back in the day. So I definitely see this happening. I see myself gravitating towards some more tapered fitted legs in jeans as well. So it's definitely coming. It will be interesting to see exactly where and how it lands, but just know that skinny jeans is somewhere out there creeping its way back in somehow. Also for anyone who has worn skinny jeans for all of time, that's okay too. This is more just based on like trends and stuff. So obviously nobody has to follow trends and nobody even has to care about them. And there's nothing wrong with going against the trends or wearing things that you like that are not considered trendy. So no shame to anyone who has always loved skinny jeans, by the way. Okay, and then the last one that I wanna talk about is kind of A-line, also waist cinching, this sort of mod 60s ode, I would say. So this is something that I have been loving over the past couple of months, and particularly the brand that I find myself gravitating towards for this and purchasing from for this style repeatedly is Reformation. So I have a few different things from them that kind of fit this bill and also like a boat neck style top or dress. It all kind of fits into the same idea and vision that I've been seeing and gravitating towards. So it's just a lot of that kind of straight A-line shape and structure, not structure, just like shape and lines on things. So like the boat neck is just creating like a nice straight line across. It's very mod, it's very chic, it's very simplistic. Um, like I said, it's very like 60s-ish to me. And also like A-line dresses just with a little bit of a flare at the bottom, not like a super big one, but just a nice, it's just creating this nice 
these nice lines and a couple of the tops that I've gotten from Reformation that fit this are like a vest style where it has like a little peplum almost cinched in at the waist but it's still very like angular and a-line-ish so hopefully the visuals give you guys a good idea of what i'm talking about i saw laney ozark talk about this in her trend video and the like silhouettes and shapes that she used were a little bit different than the ones that i've been like seeing and gravitating towards myself hers were a little bit more shifty and like flowy and the ones that i'm thinking of are a little bit more fitted like go-go dancer vibes I guess there's this skirt that I have from Abercrombie it's like the menswear skirt or something like that and it really fits that vibe as well it's just these nice like you know just like an a line ish shape it's very very 60s very mod and I'm just loving that and I'm seeing a ton of it and I'm wearing a ton of it so I think that's gonna be big going into 2024 and that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you'd want to see a video styling these trends or just any other Fashion Friday videos that you guys want to see in the new year. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you more than you know, and thanks for watching.